presented by Church Tech U, it's the Pro Presenter Show. On today's show, how to disable background colors quickly and easily in Pro Presenter 7. Hi, and welcome again to the Pro Presenter Show. This is the show that, uh, in which I tell you all about Pro Presenter. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. And before we get started, why don't you go ahead and like, subscribe, etc., like over 10,000 other people have done for this channel. So, starting in ProPresenter 7.11, background colors on the slides layer behave a little bit differently than they did in 7.10.4 and earlier. This has caused all kinds of um, weeping and gnashing of teeth about that. But, if you look at it kind of objectively, the fact that the background color on the slides layer was showing up underneath two other layers never made sense. So I understand why they wanted to fix that. But what if you have used the background colors either to make it more easy to read the text or for some other reason, and now you need to disable them without going through each individual slide in a very large library? And fix it. Well, let's head over to my computer and we'll take a look. So here we are in Pro 7 and uh, the first thing that I want you to do is, well, we can go into Pro Presenter and Settings if you're on the latest version of Mac OS or if you're on an older version uh, then it'll be Preferences. So depends on your OS but it's either Preferences or Settings and then go to screens, second choice down here. Okay, now I want you to check this checkbox. You'll notice that I have checked it already, so I'm just gonna uncheck it, and you'll notice that when I unchecked it, all of a sudden I've got this white background here. But as soon as I check it, it goes away. So that disables it for all slides, for all time, problem solved. But you might now have a problem. A different problem has cropped up. So let me show you a couple of things that you can do. Uh, first off, if we right click and edit slide, if it was just one presentation, um, you could uncheck that right there and that would make it go away for that one presentation. But as I said, if you've got multiples, then using the preferences or setting version is easier to do it. By the way, there is also a background color right here. So you can enable or disable that as well right there. Okay, so keep that in mind. But let's say your text was black instead of white and you were using the white background to kind of make it more legible. How do you solve that problem? Well in 712 and newer this is what you would do is you would go down here here let me um, hide myself you see this circle with the three dots on it click on that and notice there is a thumb thumbnail background color choice here so if you click on that notice that all of a sudden it's gray so what's helpful is now I can see white text and I can see black stuff fairly easily I set that to kind of a neutral gray on purpose so that it would work with either one because once you turn this on it stays on so that's a downside of doing this but this is actually the feature that you want to use uh, the reason I said 712 and newer is because in 711 they inadvertently had a problem where graphics like this wouldn't show up so you were kind of stuck with a, a bit of a problem so if you can go to 712 or newer and do that that solves the legibility problem but this is only visible to the um, to people that are uh, running ProPresenter. So if I oops, if I were to 
Let me make sure I turned off my key. Okay, if I were to click on this, notice it still has a black background here. So this is only for le legibility sake. It doesn't affect um, what is sent out to the audience. This is only for the operator. So that is how to fix the background color problem in that some people were having starting with ProPresenter 711 and newer. If you like this content, you probably like my ProPresenter 7 Quick Start course. So head on over to tdm.fyi slash pro the number seven and quick. Give me your name and email address and I'll make a login for you for free. Regularly $29. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford from TrinityDigitalMedia.com and ChurchTechU.com reminding you to go out and change eternity.